if you are someone who is looking for a CDN service to host their you know speed up the website then bunny cdn is something that i am using from last one year and today in this particular video i will be showing my unbiased review about them things that i like about them things i don't like about them everything covered step by step so let's start this particular video so first of all if you go to their website bunny cdn.net they you know bunny.net they were traditionally known as bunny cdn so currently they are offering four services CDN, Edge Storage Stream, Optimizer. So you know what the stream, stream service is something that they recently launched. Uh, if they did not launch stream service then you can also host their videos in the Edge Storage that I used to do in the past but yeah they launched their stream service. Then they having these four services that I will review step by step so let's start. So this is my bunny cdn dashboard as you can see my usage is about 1.58 gb to 27,000 requests served approximately 65 percent cash hit and that's all so if you want to use their service for hosting your videos then go uh, hosting your know, hosting your what i'm saying the cdn of your site then their cough they having you know these pull zones that what you can do is you can go ahead and create a pull zone for a site so let me create a demo pull zone for this site so currently this is uh, hosted on class day and powered by google cdn so managed by class day i would say so let me add if it's available let's see so what i can do i can just go over here and click on add a pull zone that's it now okay pull zone is already created so let me add some random characters and click on add It will take some time now they will tell you like you need to replace this url with this url if you are custom html for wordpress you can use their pulls uh, their service for joomla for this 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 they are giving uh, and they are also having a very active knowledge base so you can set this up so currently i'm using wp rocket so what you can do inside wp rocket is if you are a wp rocket user go to settings go to wp rocket inside wp rocket you will get the option of cdn enable cdn select the images and add this uh, over here and this will start working mm -hmm. so this is how you can set up bunny cdn for wordpress if you're using word uh, wp rocket meanwhile they will be having a no uh, something related to this in knowledge well since wp rocket is very popular plugin so going forward they are having different kind of option in general you can just uh, have this thing you can create your own custom host name but i will not recommend that because it definitely creates a, a extra request that increases lot a uh, load time of your site then inside caching you are having the the caching parameter that you want to use to be honest i did not touch them a lot because i'm not that much uh, you know knowing about these things so i you know have my i do not touch those things and let them be in by default section then in pricing you can select which kind of pricing you want to want so this is for high performing website this is for something if you want an ideal for large file video downloading data right for standard you have to pay 10 dollar per tb and uh, that would be i think 1000 gbs approximately and here you have to pay five dollar per tv so it's your own preference then pricing zone so you can check out which one you wanna have so i am having all these by default over here then inside general you are having this section like block ips block some root path logging ssl uh, these um, just let them in by default there's no touch those options I, I one day i created a mess around this but this is something that you need to pay attention click over here if enable this will help you in fco it adds a canonical tag help uh, google to differentiate uh, between the original and the CD, uh, images that are served by cdn so make sure you switch it on then there is this is their optimizer service there they will go ahead and help you to optimize your website's files for instance web images uh, manipulation engine uh, minify css verify javascript etc so i will not recommend you to switch this on if you are uh, using any plugins that are doing this for you since i'm using wp rocket they are doing this everything for me and also using a service called short pixel that i will review soon so that is also thing one thing that i'm using on my site to improving the performance edge rules you can create some rules regarding that i used to create in cloudflare by the way you can use both cloudflare and bunny cdn at first place then you can grid the zone since i'm not using it you can just delete it up so
very simple process and i deleted this zone and i went back to this pool zones so i currently am having this pool zones i deleted many because uh, i was using uh, used to host shareas.com on this side but currently i'm not hosting shareas.com because shareas.com is shifted to another browser uh, i mean another hosting provider if i talk about the performance worldwide bunny cdns comes under top to uh, comes uh, 12 number and the performance is 20 to 35 m uh, milliseconds where the top one is the 5 cent cdn which performs about 24 ms and the, the second is google then aws by amazon then this is by microbot i think this is by alibaba so this is the top performing cdn so by the way let's see the pricing I know I'm going off topic, but yeah, <laughs> curious to know. So they are also very affordable, by the way. And that's all, you know, about this uh, CDN service. So this is what you can do. And these are storages that I'm going to show you in a second. So let's go to storages, not in a second. Let me show you right away. So in storages, you can store your data. You can create a storage, storage name over here. Then you can host your file, then showcase them to your users. So for instance, I want to create a storage since I'm building my own LMS platform. So I need storage for that. So let me create a storage learn.shara.com Geo application. I, uh, for now, I just want this to be okay. That I just want it to be in, okay. In New York and click on ads uh, after that, I can enable it okay so storage can't upload okay learn shareaj okay learn shareaj so let me create storage so main region is europe no problem at all i can select asia by the way now this will create a storage where you can upload your files for uh, you can access the storage using bunny cdn website or you can use f TP that's I think uh, forget file transfer protocol I guess so you can go ahead and create using FTP so currently they are creating my storage over here so meanwhile let me show you the bunny CD and clients so they are having very big clients as you can see and then Honda is big one Epsomo is good one Nitro Pass, Optin Monster they have many good clients over here then you can enable the application make sure if you enable the replication once you can't you know back it up so you can't uh, disable it back if once it's enabled so this is something that you need to pay now you can have to connect a pull zone you have to create a pull zone for using your cloud storage mean if you want to present that a web url that's why as you can see i was having many cloud these pull zones over here because these pull zones are created for uh, my storage devices for using my you know, for downloading things up or using them on my blog so these are the cloud storages that you can see so let me open the shara.com storage so i'm not doing no nothing but uh, you know you can create uh, some okay let me create something mm, files uh, bonus bonuses uh, maybe I want to you know give them my my audience bonuses so they can directly download for bunny CDNs for files so I just created a uh, folder called bonuses now I can upload bonuses over here or delete it up this this does not matter at all if I go to newsletter you can just uh, I have created some folders and having a little file over here that I sent in my newsletter this was the audio version of my newsletter and that's all about the storage so simple storage that you can access using ftp i will not show you my ftp details right now because they are confidential you know then you can go ahead and create video library so as i told you i'm building my platform that learn.shareout.com so i'm using one storage from them their video storage so i'm having this video over here let me play it over here so this is the video a few minutes later this is what this video says and this is the video uh, picked up from the uh, and you know uh, what do you call it google and using it over here as a testing since this platform is not live then you can create for management you can create folders and upload videos in them then you can create your player what kind of primary color is, as you can see the primary color is black you can select the primary color the e language so they are supporting many different languages you can just pause the video and check them all then you can create some font sizes for caption appearance and player controls that you want to add on 
So I do not want to add any kind of player controls as of now. When it comes to advertising, we we hashtag URL, we AI publisher ID. These are the things that you can do. And to be honest, I do not know what kind of it is. Maybe this is a platform that you can use for you know advertising your things up over here. If I go uh, in encoding, keep original files. Okay, I want to keep original files, enable third party early, enable MP3 fallback and and this thrashing like enable resolution ETC. Pricing, when it comes to pricing, high volume tire, standard volume tire, I am using a high volume tire, $5 per month. Uh, I will be shifting to the standard volume very soon since I'm this platform is not live. So my team is using it. So I don't want to pay extra money for it because since we are not going to watch entire video. Then CD and token authentication, the the basic, uh, you know, clear key, DRM, so that's the dynamic encrypt CD video. So unwanted download, if your video will be played through embedded view, the MPV will be enabled and will be disabled. So these are the things like protecting your videos. Then black block domains, so all our domains are only these, where my videos can be played. Uh, CD and token authentication, and these are the, some other features that you can go ahead and use. At the end, storages, so, uh, I can enable other storages, but I don't want to do them because once I enable them, I can't disable them. So currently I just want them to be hosted in the US, then later I will do it up. Then there is an API that you can use for uploading video and that's all about their streaming service. Now at last you can go ahead and check statistics, how your things are going guys. I used 1.5 GB and paid approximately 2.5 GB. And these are the zones that are uh, you know having most of my storage and traffic from. So you can check it out. Then purge, you can purge everything up if you wanna do. Let me, uh, you can just uh, purge a pull zone as well. So let me just purge my storage. So you can just purge the storage and this will remove all the caching. Then you can check out logs about the things that are happening, monitoring, check out where your traffic is coming from. At the end, let's jump to the billing section and see what exactly billing is. So billing is very easy. They are quite affordable. I was uh, you know, hosting over 100 GB over here. I, I was paying approximately $3 a month. So uh, this month I reduced, as you can see in my storage storages, I reduced that to 100 to 40. So I would be paying, I think, saving $1, one or $2 more. So yeah, that's what I did to optimize the storages, you know, then I can recharge enable auto recharge using my card, then you can earn credits and uh, by referring others. So make sure you check on my referral URL and give me $20 credit, then history, nothing uh, up to $10, $3 monthly charge. $3 rate in monthly charge. So these are the monthly charge that I'm paying to them. And that's all I hope you loved my bunny cdn review make sure you check out bunny cdn using my affiliate referral link which will help me to you know uh, get my more credits into it maybe i can use it for free for absolute lifetime don't avail it to team go ahead and check it out thank you so much for watching guys i hope you love this video if you love this you can check out my premium newsletter that's available absolutely free it's it's free why i told premium but yeah so you can check out my newsletter at shiraz.com slash newsletter sign up and you will see uh, receive videos notification like this extra bonus content exclusive for email subscribers thank you so much for listening watching whatever you're doing thank you so much see you soon.